This is an introduction to the city's new interactive tool to measure citywide performance toward achieving community outcomes. This tool provides public access and transparency to performance data and allows for further data-driven decision-making by city leadership. It also enhances priority-based budgeting by adding measurable outcomes to programs. Performance measures and supporting information will be updated both annually and monthly with new data as it is available. Let's explore this new tool. First, there's a landing page with three buttons. The Annual Scorecard button shows a summary of performance for each of the city's objectives or result areas. City services impact and influence the performance of the city's result areas, as represented by the percentage under each icon. These results are calculated based on the actuals and targets of performance measures categorized within each result area. The color blocks indicate the overall performance of the result area. Much like a traffic light, green indicates many measures are meeting or exceeding their goals. Yellow shows a warning to evaluate the result area to see what measures are low, and red means that there are likely several measures that are missing their goals. Click one of the result area icons to learn more about the measures that contribute to the scorecard result. Selecting the Welcoming and Livability Community Result Area populates a list of performance measures that are used in the scorecard rating on the previous screen. While the most recent year is shown, these measures can be viewed various ways using the filters on the left-hand side of the screen, and these filters are available throughout the tool. For example, Multi-Generational Enrichment is a program group within the Welcoming and Livable Result Area. Measures listed below that program group include the number of library visitors and the number of recreation program participants. As with the previous scorecard screen, the individual measures also have color indicators of performance. Further detail is also provided, such as the unit of measure, the target, and the actual for the measure, and a variance between the actual and target. To learn more about the measure, simply double-click on the View Detail link. To see the data trend, double-click View Trend. Exploring the number of library visitors performance measure a bit more, let's select the View Details option. When selected, a new window will pop up to provide more context of the measure, including a detailed description and an explanation of why it's important to residents. This section of the detail provides an opportunity to explain outliers in the data, impacts of forces outside of the city's control on the data, or just more general context. Closing out of that window, you will return to the list of measures within the result area. Now we'll select the Trend Analysis option to see a graphic representation of the data. Once selected, all of the city's performance measures will be listed at the top of the screen. Click on one measure to update the graph on the screen. There are multiple ways to filter to view a specific measure, either by department, result area, or users can simply scroll through the list if the department or result area is unknown. As with the prior screen, the most recent fiscal year data will be initially displayed, but other years are available for viewing as well. In developing this citywide tool, not all data for the identified measures was available. So, some measures will have more complete prior year data than others. The community portal will continue to develop as additional data and analysis are completed. In contrast to the scorecard, which is updated annually, the current performance button shows updated data throughout the year for measures that are reported on monthly and quarterly. All public measures, even if they are not used to calculate the scorecard, are shown on the current performance screen by result area and department. You can filter the data using the selections on the left-hand side of the screen. The third button on the home page shows the city's budget by result area. Use the budget menu navigation to access other displays and learn more about the city's budget.